Hello and welcome to this podcast brought to you by the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association. My name is Malcolm, I am a retired consultant surgeon and throughout my career I had a particular interest in the care and treatment of cancer patients. Presently I am chairman of the Isle of Man Anti-Cancer Association. And my name's Sandy, the executive officer of the association and a cancer survivor. In this podcast we want to talk about sarcomas. These are relatively rare tumours affecting around 3,300 individuals every year in the UK, giving a figure of around 4 to 5 cases annually within the island population. Although more commonly seen in the elderly, just over 10% occur in young people. A a sarcoma is a malignant tumour, a type of cancer that arises from connective tissue which includes bone, cartilage, fat, blood vessels or the structure in blood-forming tissues. As a result, there is around 100 subtypes of sarcoma, but they are often broken down into two groups, bony and soft tissue sarcomas. The different types tend to be given different names associated either with the tissue in which they arise, for example, osteosarcomas arise in bone, liposarcomas develop in fat, and rhabdomyosarcomas in muscle, or by their position within the body, such as retroperitoneal sarcoma, which arises in the tissue behind the organs and the abdomen. The symptoms of sarcomas also depend on the type of and position of the tissue in which the tumour arises. Symptoms of bone sarcomas typically include bone pain, especially at night at the site of the tumour, with an associated slowly enlarging swelling. These tumours are often found in children or young adults with osteosarcomas, usually affecting the thigh upper arm or shin and with Ewing's sarcoma in the bone and surrounding tissue around the knee, pelvis, arms, ribs or spine. Symptoms of soft tissue sarcomas vary but they often present as firm painless lumps or nodules at the site of the lesion which slowly enlarge. If the tumour is associated with nerves, muscles or blood vessels then you may experience symptoms related to pressure or compression of the surrounding tissue. Sarcomas affecting the gut are frequently asymptomatic but can be associated with vague complaints of abdominal pain, a feeling of fullness or other signs associated with blockage of the intestines. There are a number of risk factors that can increase your risk of developing a sarcoma. A family history of sarcoma with some subtypes being associated with inherited gene defects. A bone disorder called Paget's disease which is not uncommon in the elderly increases the risk of developing osteosarcoma. Genetic disorders like neurofibromatosis, Gardner syndrome or retinoblastoma can increase the risk of a soft tissue sarcoma. Exposure to radiation, particularly if it was previously used in the treatment of a tumour earlier in the life, is another risk factor. The symptoms of sarcomas are often vague but persistent. So it is important if you experience persistent bone pain, especially if it troubles you through the night, or notice a vague lump in tissues under the skin that is slowly getting bigger, that you see your doctor or practice nurse. It may be due to nothing of concern, but it's always best to get things checked out. For more information on sarcomas, you can visit the Macmillan Cancer Information Centre in the Atrium of Nobles Hospital, or you can call them on 650735. There are also a number of useful websites including macmillan.org.uk, nhs.uk or sarcoma.org.uk. Thank you very much for listening.